guys, it's Miss Miniature here. Welcome to my YouTube channel and welcome to my very first speed build. Thank you for taking the time to watch. It isn't going to be anything extravagant today. It is just going to be a simple starter home. This is mainly for my benefit where I'm not really used to sitting in front of a computer and talking to myself for any extended period of time. So I thought I would just give myself a break and start with something on a relatively small scale. So this is what I've come up with. It's a little house in Windenburg, which is why I use the exterior wallpaper that I use because I want it to match the surrounding areas. And I did build it with a sim in mind. She's out front. You can kind of get a little glimpse of her there. Her name is Marley Harris and she has the serial romantic aspiration. So I wanted to build this house like kind of like a cute little cottage feel that you would be comfortable inviting someone back to watch a movie or, well, there's only one chair right now, but you could totally save up some money and buy two chairs or you could probably sell that chair and get two really cheap chairs but right now I, I like the chair I used and where it's just her right now I, I don't need to and she'll she'll paint a couple paintings and be able to afford a chair anyway I wanted it to be a house that she would be comfortable with like bringing someone back to watch a movie have a dinner date or whatever she may need to do with this person anyway Oh, and I do apologize if the video is a little choppy at the beginning. I did edit out some of uh, the roof work because, you know, I just didn't want you to have to sit through all of my experimenting with the roofs. They've never really been my strong suit. When I used to play The Sims 3, it was pretty much just a really tall, pointy roof. That there was, there was nothing special about it. But I, I have gotten a little bit better, so that's a bonus. And I actually, I do go back... Uh, and change the height of this roof. I just make it just a little bit less tall. I felt like it was almost overbearing on the house. And I do go back, you can see where there's a little white on the side. I do go back and fix that, but I guess I just didn't notice it at that point. And then an exterior light and onto the interior we go. So it's pretty simple, like one bedroom, one bathroom. And uh, the rest is open concept. I, I think it's it's pretty cute for the price of it. And I did playtest this, and while I was playtesting this, I actually made a really stupid rookie mistake, but uh, I told her to make a grilled cheese, because I was like, okay, let's make sure that the stove works, and that you can get to it. Anyway, and while she was making that grilled cheese, I bet you guessed it, yeah, she set the house on fire, so I was like, perfect, J just, just what I wanted to happen, but... You know, it, it's pretty fixable. It wasn't that big of a deal. I just, I found it kind of humorous that on my first speed build that while I was play testing, that uh, she would set it on fire. So yeah, that happened. Oh, and I do change the height of the walls here because I, I didn't even notice another rookie mistake. I didn't notice that I built it with the medium level walls. I was thinking when I was putting in the windows, I was like, huh, I feel like I shouldn't have this much space. But like, eh, fixable. <laughs> Just like the, uh, the house being set on fire, it's all fixable. So I do move the dining room table, and I delete the light over the dining room table and replace it with a cheaper one. This is mainly because I want to do some landscaping. Just like I downgrade that TV as well, so that I have more money to do landscaping. And I did go a little bit overboard on the landscaping for a starter home, I feel. But I really liked how it turned out, and if you needed more money, you could just delete a bush, so it would be fine. But I never used to do landscaping on any of my builds, and I just kind of thought of it as, like, wasted money. It's like, oh, well, why would I, I put this? Like, it, it doesn't give me any in-game benefit, but it really does just tie everything together, and it looks so nice. And I've watched some speed builders, and they do such amazing landscaping, which is really what got me into it. I was like, man, like, why am I not doing this? This is so awesome. So this time I have been trying to branch out and do some decent landscaping. So this obviously isn't a great example because it is pretty simple, but I like it. And we move right on to the bedroom. Now I do end up changing the dresser because when I was playtesting, you couldn't get by to the other side of the bed, which being a serial romantic, you're obviously going to need to. <laughs> so I changed the dresser and that's fine then. And obviously I did intend this room for a female where it is all pink, but you can really, you can move anyone in here. Who cares? Like, anyone can sleep with a pink room. It doesn't matter. 
And I do add flowers that are also pink, but again, it doesn't matter. Oh, and I do change the carpet. I originally, when I was first doing this, I was like, oh, like it adds contrast. I, I like the darker carpet. But then when I was playtesting, I was like, oh, I don't know what I was thinking. So I, I think I change it to like a, either like a beige or a yellowy color. And I, I just delete those candles because there wasn't really enough room for me to put them anywhere once I changed the dresser. And I may have needed the money. Anyway, and I do also make a mistake on these curtains, which really bugged me, but I couldn't do anything about it because I had no more money left. And I was like, eh, it's only curtains. But you see, I put two on the window above the bed and only one over there. And I don't notice this apparently until I take the screenshots and I was looking at it I was like did I not put a curtain there I was like of course I didn't and of course at that time I didn't have any more money to go fix it and put another curtain so I just deleted the other curtain so at the end each each window only has one curtain and you I guess you'll just have to pull this single curtain across the whole window it's fine it's fine you don't need fancy curtains it's fine also, I got to this point in my build and I thought, oh, I have $1,200 left. Like, oh, I have so much money. How did I do such a good job on this speed build and have $1,200 left? And then I looked around and I was like, wait, I didn't build a bathroom. So then I was like, ah, oh, I gotta build a bathroom, obviously. So <laughs> this is the bathroom. It's obviously really simple, really quick. But it, I liked, actually I really like the color of it that I picked. But again, it, it's it's a starter home bathroom. It has a shower, a toilet, and a sink, and a, a couple little trinkets. But it's a bathroom. It's really nothing too special. Except that I matched the rug to the walls. And I thought that was a nice touch. So here you can see where I just I moved the house and uh, shrunk the roof a little bit. And added a bin. Which is good because sometimes I don't remember to do that. But I did this time. But you can obviously tell it, it was a bit of an afterthought because I had started the kitchen in the very beginning. Anyway, and then we move right on to the landscaping. And you can probably see my train of thought where I'm like, I cannot afford anything. Yep. And then <laughs> you can watch me go in and sell the TV. I'm not really even sure why I put a TV in this build because... Marley is a creative sim, so she'd probably get all the fun she needed from an easel. But I was like, well, I am going to share it to the gallery. Like, not every sim that moved in here would be a creative sim. There should be at least something fun for them to do if they don't want to paint. Of course, if they don't want to paint, they can sell the easel and they'll have lots of money. But, well, not lots, but, you know, more than $4. Oh, and here's where I go in and fix the dresser. And then I think I'm almost done. I'm just kind of looking. Oh, and I did. I told you I would go back and fix that. Well, here it is. I fixed it. Also, I just realized that I did not sell the chair to do landscaping. I sold the chair so that I could buy a curtain for over the sink. But we're almost to the end of the video. So thank you so much for watching. And I hope you enjoyed it.